All right, concrete's in. Yeah, we're ready to go. 24, 24 garage, center drain. Me and Luke gonna blast this out. Darren couldn't make it today. Oh, we're gonna pump this thing right out as fast as we can. Top of that one, top of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the cost of redoing this floor. First, the demo and the excavation part of it, then the regrading. So we don't do that ourselves. We hire that out to some people we know really well. So he comes in, and he comes in with a skid steer and like a hammer that attaches to the skid steer, and he breaks the concrete all up. Then he puts the bucket on the skid steer and he removes all the, the broken up concrete, puts it in the dump truck. So there's basically two guys that do the demo and removal and then they haul it off. And his price for doing that on this floor, this 24-24 floor, was 5000 bucks. And he was here for about three quarters of the day. So he breaks it all up, removes the concrete, they haul it off, dump it, and then they have some gravel in the, in the dump truck that they dump. And they, they put in, you know, whatever whatever dirt needs to be removed. It wasn't too, too much on this, this one. They remove a little bit of the, the bad dirt that's under there, put in the gravel, compact it, and then just make sure the center drain's all set and ready to go for us. So they had three quarters of a day with all that work, and it was 5000 bucks for that. And then for us, our price to come in here and re-pour the concrete, you know, do the vapor barrier, do the rebar, put the fiber mesh in the concrete, re-pour it, power trial it, saw it, and then come back and patch a little bit of asphalt patch in front of the doors. You know, our price was $4,000 for all that. And our cost of materials was about 1500 bucks, you know, for the concrete, the rebar, the plastic, the asphalt repair. So. And we were here, you know, basically, uh, you know, one guy was here basically all day, the guy that stays in power trials and saws. And then, you know, you can see the two of us, it took, uh, it took probably 45 minutes to pour this and maybe 30 or so minutes to get it prepped in the morning. So I was there, you know, I was there basically an hour and a half and then Luke stayed the rest of the day. No, and then one of us had to come back up the following day and do the asphalt patch, you know, which we were working pretty close by anyway, so that wasn't too much out of the way. So about 9,000 bucks to replace this broken up, just, just really cracked up concrete floor and make it a brand new floor that'll, you know, that'll probably last the rest of the lives of these people for sure. So that's just to give you an idea on cost about what to do. And again, we're in central Maine. Probably our cost of living is a little bit lower than most of you people that are watching this. So just to give you a general idea of the cost, that's what it was, 9,000 bucks. Good!
Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah. Probably an inch and a half from over there, maybe two and a half from the corners. All right, we'll pull your head a little, Paul. Go ahead and stop magging. I'll get one more row out. We'll pull it down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it with a rag. Okay. Okay, Paul. Pull your head again. Now hold up a minute. Yeah, sure.
Just a little bit right there, Paul. A little bit right here, please. Hey, Paul. Pull a little down, hold on. Yeah, pull your head.
could be red at the bottom of that track. Take a little bit here in a second. It's gonna be quite a V there, I think. I think there's gonna be a little bit of a V there. See that crack right there? They asked if we could caulk that, so I brought some caulking up. Yeah. Maybe when you get a minute, when you're finishing, just squirt some in it. A bit, Paul. Good.
Sure, I got some poly here to step on, huh? We're gonna be just about perfect, aren't we? Get down to the end, I'll kick my boots off, go get some plastic, step out on it. Rinse these off, put them right back on, maybe. Actually, I'll do it over there, Paul. Thank you. I'll, I'll do my straight edge of my come alongs right there, if that's okay. Yeah. Are you, you're gonna pull maybe over the other side over there? I don't. That's what I was gonna ask yeah. you. Where to go? Either that or, either that or we or we move my truck and you get right in on the corner where those leaves are, at least for the bulk of it, and then we can just pull you up. Yeah, I. Because you, you probably got like half a bucket in there. Yeah. We're not gonna want to leave that on the lawn. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Um, you can drive down. And back up where the blue truck is. Yeah. We'll swing and shoot right in that corner. Okay. You get most of it there. Yeah. I think we're gonna have enough. Give me a minute. No. Looks like we'll probably use it, Paul. Let me get my scraper. Oh, I guess I can reach it. Plenty in the chute. Uh -huh. there's, there's plenty in the chute. Uh -huh. No, no, no. This will be plenty. Yeah, I'll just kind of pull it back a little bit, Luke, as we go here. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I think so. I think that'll do it. Good? No. Maggot or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and knock that off yeah. in there. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that went pretty good. Two guys. We do that a lot. Just haven't done it much this year yet. Like I said, Darren couldn't make it. He had a family. His daughter was getting operated on today, so he wanted to be there. So we just planned on doing something small so me and Luke could do it. Now. Just end up leaving Luke here today, and I'll go get some stuff ready for. I gotta get something ready for tomorrow. Got a big house and garage to do in tomorrow. Friday, we got umpteen things to pick from for Friday, so we're gonna try to figure that out too. 
try to keep it in two trucks. Lou, you back that right in here? Thank you, Paul. I'll be right over. All right. Let's go get Paul in place so he can wash out. Luke's going to back in. Need a couple more handles on the bow float and, and load them tools right up. That's not their property, I don't know. I don't dare have you drive on their property. Right about where the fire hydrant is in the line. I'll be honest, just stay on the asphalt for there. Yeah, I don't know if we'll reach it. If it doesn't, maybe we'll just make it work somehow. Let me move that truck ahead a little bit. I gotta hook this on him. Hold on. Get the concrete in the woods. Yeah, we don't want to clean up a mess on somebody's lawn, so rather if we gotta clean up a little bit of pile, I'd rather do it in the woods. That worked pretty well all in all. What do you guys think? I mean two guys, center drain, has a couple inches pitch to it, nine yards of concrete. We got a should be a nice brand new floor for these people. As he finishes, he'll wiggle those boards, try to make sure they're not stuck in there, so we can get them out easy. Then we'll come back with some uh, asphalt patch and just patch that in for him, make that edge a little bit nicer. Luke stayed here and power trialed this and got the saw cuts in after he power trialed. He stripped the form boards off and then we came back the next day and filled in the little gap between the driveway and the concrete with the asphalt patching material. And these people were right back in business with a brand new garage floor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Alright guys, so that'll be it for this one this morning. Luke's going to stay and finish. I'm going to go get some stuff ready. So let me know if you got any questions or comments and we'll see you on the next one.